In this tutorial, we're going to add some attachments against an employee record. So I'm logging into a user and I'm going into a framework toolbox tutorial labs. I mean, this is the demonstration responsibility for this exercise. I click on the main employee search and uh, if I search on employee ID 2, I can see that uh, this employee is returned. What I want to do in this exercise is when I click on update, I want to give a facility to add attachments here in this section, right? So that the users should be able to add attachments here. Now, before we get into the attachments, let's have a look at where exactly these attachments are going to be. One of the main tables where attachments are stored is called FND attached documents. Okay, this is one of the main tables where the attachments get stored in the eWitness suite. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look, quick look at where these attachments go in. So, if you notice. If you notice this uh, column called entity name, okay, this is the column which is used to identify what kind of transaction is it against which the attachments are being loaded. And then you have five possible primary keys. In most of the cases, just one of the primary keys should be sufficient, okay. But Oracle gives you a facility to create an attachment, upload an attachment against five possible primary keys, which means let's say you want to attach a document against a purchase order header ID and a purchase order line number a combination of the two okay so that is the reason you have uh, five possible primary keys to be uploaded and the entity name is the kind of uh, flag which says what type of attachment is it which is being loaded now coming back to the screen where we want to upload the attachments we will need to do some personalization to give a region here so that the users can go and upload the attachments but I don't see a personalization link available here so what I need to do is to go to my home menu go to functional administrator and I'll give myself a responsibility so I go to core services profiles and I search on personalized self-service definitions profile option it's set to no at site level I can set it to yes at site level okay once I set it to yes at site level I can update I need to go and clear my cache and uh, global configuration, clear all cache. Okay, so now I have set the profile options, profile option, personalized self service definitions, so that now I'm able to see the personalized page link. Now, the next thing I need to do is to create an attachment section. Okay, so I'm going to go to Framework Toolbox Tutorials Lab, main employee search. I search on employee number two. Okay, when I search on employee number two, I click on update 